Hi, it's Will from StormCastle.com, and this is a new model logic model rocket project called uh, it's an SD's rocket called Big Bertha, and this is kind of a nice rocket for a couple of different reasons. First off, it's the biggest skill level one rocket they make, so if you're looking for an easy rocket that's sizable, um, this one's perfect. It fits the bill perfectly, and especially if you're going to be working with um, children or kids. Um, the bigger size makes it easier to handle. You can see the fins are pretty big, so there's not a whole lot of exacting work here to do. So um, I've opened up the packet here and taken a look at all the different things. And whenever you st whenever you build a new model rocket, you should always do that. Open up the packet, go over the instructions, um, inventory all the parts, make sure you have everything, and familiar so familiarize yourself with what it is and what it's all about. So I will show you some more stuff about how to assemble this. Here's a review of the tools and materials you're going to need to make this rocket. You're going to need a variety of paints, depending on how you want to paint it. You can either use spray-on paints, which look better, or you can use brush-on paints. And depending on the color scheme that you want to do. And you can do any color you want, of course. Uh, you're going to need scissors, paint brushes if you're going to do um, like an acrylic paint, uh, a, a sheet of sandpaper, or at least a small piece of sandpaper, a pencil, some kind of a hobby knife, a nice sharp hobby knife, some masking tape, and uh, some type of glue. Either white glue or yellow wood glue will be fine. So and that's all you need to do this project. The first thing you do is make the engine mount assembly, as shown here. And it's just a few parts to glue that together. And then you make the shock cord assembly. This is for the parachute and nose cone. And then you cut out the fins from the balsa wood sheets and then you sand them, stack them all together, all four of them together and then sand them all the way around. The reason why you stack them all together like this and sand them down is you want them all to be the same size and shape when you're done with it. That'll make a difference in the aerodynamics of the uh, rocket. I've glued the fins onto this rocket and it looks great and you can see that's a really big rocket and uh, you got to take your time, to, the fin, gluing the fins on is the hardest part of the assembly and you have to take your time with it and try to get those fins as straight as possible because it will make a difference in the flight and uh, so the only things remaining now are to put the shop cord assembly on, the nose cone, uh, the parachute and the uh, lug guide, the launch lug guide which will go on there like this and that's what um, the rocket rides on when it rides on the, on the rod. So, and then paint it up and it'll be ready to launch. So I'll show you some more. This rocket is complete. You can see I uh, spray painted it with black spray on paint, the gloss, it looks really great. And then I cut out the stickers and applied all the stickers and this thing's ready to go, ready for a launch. So if you haven't seen launch footage already, I'll show you some next. Thanks for watching. Plenty more rocket stuff, all kinds of stuff on my website at www.stormthecastle.com.